Thank you, thank you, thank you. We've been getting some amazing questions, suggestions, and feedback on our Calgary video blog. Glad you're enjoying it. And today we have a great question. It's very timely and very important. It's important for you because if you are thinking about selling your home, it can save you a lot of time, frustration, and money, and even cost you a sale if you don't follow it. So today's question comes from Neil. And Neil asks, when is the best time to put your property on the market? A lot of you may be wondering, should we do it in the spring or summer when everything is nice and warm and green? Or should we do it in the winter when it's cold and white and people aren't away for summer holidays? <sighs> Stay tuned and find out. And make sure you watch until the end and you'll find out about a special program that we just launched that will actually guarantee that your home gets sold. Neil is a very kind and generous man. In fact, he suggested this question, when to put your home on the market, because he actually really benefited from our contrarian advice and thought other people probably don't know this. So it'd be really great to share it with him. So what happened with Neil is he was preparing a property and was really flexible on when he could put it on. He consulted us and I looked through our statistics and through our software and uh, it turned out that the best time to put this particular property on the market in this neighborhood was actually February because I figured the inventory was going to be at the lowest and the month's supply was going to be the lowest. And also I foresaw that there's going to be more competition coming on and the prices were going to drop. Neil uh, took her advice and, uh, and made out really well. We ended up generating multiple offers and even had backup offers, which turned out uh, great for us strategically. They had to uh, come into effect. Sure enough, Neil made a great decision because had he waited, the prices did in fact decline and more properties came on the market and uh, the inventory stayed high and the month's supply stayed high. So a lot of people would have assumed that wait a little bit longer and put it on the spring market. But this assuming would have uh, not been good for, for anybody. A lot of you might be wondering, man, it would really suck putting my property on the uh, uh, market in February. Well, the answer is not necessarily the best time to put it on the market is February. It may be, we'll have to look at those statistics. But another really great thing about um, putting it on during the cold weather is you know that the people that are looking at your property are serious. You're not having to rush out of the, of the house and make sure it's prepared because the people that are coming aren't serious. In February, you know they're serious because nobody's looking at properties in February in minus 40 weather for decorating ideas. So that's another benefit of selling in the, in the cold winter months of January, February. It's amazing how often January and February are a um, good time to put your home on the market. I was just looking at another uh, client's place and uh, um, there haven't historically been any sales in March or April for the past three years for this type of property in this neighborhood. So we're actually gonna hustle and we're gonna be putting it on right after the holidays here. So it's really important to know what's happening with your particular style. Look at the months of inventory, the days on market, the, uh, the history, I'll put a, a chart in here and you'll actually be surprised how many sales there are that uh, there are spread out throughout the, the months of the year. Another factor to uh, decide when to put it on the market is life changes. We are real estate agents and agents of change. We understand that life happens. People are born, people die, marriages happen, marriages end, jobs end, promotions happen, transfers happen. So when life changes happen, that can be the best time for you to make a move. The uh, having to commute 
or having uh, financial frustrations are not something that you want to uh, prolong. So if life changes are happening, this is an excellent time to make a move and keep your momentum uh, going. It might be the universe's way of giving you a wink and saying, come on, it's time for more things to, to change. It's really important that you are ready to change though, because if you're not ready to make a move and you're overly attached to your home, the buyers will know, people will know, you'll make everybody re uh, miserable that's involved, and you'll probably end up sabotaging the sale, and you could potentially get yourself in trouble. So make sure you are ready. If you're not ready, it's not a good time to sell. When you are even in the early stages of starting to think about selling, please give me a call. Uh, there's a number of times when I've seen people um, have thoughts that they have to do a bunch of work on the property and before they put it up. Sometimes this is true, sometimes it's not. I saw a number of people in the past year that um, overdeveloped their homes, spent too much money, and ended up chasing the market down and lost anything that they put into it. So if you're starting to think about it, make sure you talk to us and um, I can talk to you about the statistics and what you need to do to prepare your home. The other really cool thing is we've just launched our guaranteed sales.ca. So go to guaranteed sales.ca and we've uh, just launched a program that will take a lot of the hassle out when you really have to make sure that your house is sold. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy it, please make sure you share it with a friend, like it, and also subscribe to any of our channels. Until next time, I'm Eric Mortimer, real estate agent and agent of change, helping you solve your problems and realize your dreams.